we talked about the headliner. Yeah. Uh, Komain, Mr. Self-proclaimed most violent man in the UFC. I don't argue. Versus, Not even uh, just that. He's officially said the most entertaining fighter to ever step in the octagon in the UFC. Dude, I mean, every single fight he's been in has been an absolute banger. He said that. There hasn't been that a today, single media fight. day. And yeah. he said that so with such confidence. I was like, yes. Justin. Were you around for the, the the whole Eddie Alvarez era where they were nope. fighting for most violent no. men in the UFC? No, that I wasn't. It's probably the most exciting time to be a fan, uh, especially of lightweight. Because that was yeah. basically like this like MMA love triangle of Dustin Poirier, Eddie Alvarez, and Justin Gaethje beating the living shit out of each other for like, I think, three, four, five fights in a row. Uh, and it was just awesome. It was just like the greatest fights back to back to back to back to back. I need to go back. I don't know. It was a good time. I would, to any MMA fan kind of like getting into uh, spe- specifically the UFC. I would mm-hmm. go back and watch that era of Justin Gaethje versus Eddie Alvarez one and two. Uh, oh, sorry, they didn't fight twice. I don't think. Uh, Dustin, Dustin Poirier and Eddie Alvarez fought twice. Because um, the first time ended, I think, in a, in a, a legal knee. But then the rematch was also awesome. Fight, so I just recommend that era. But uh, anyway, this fight, Justin Thank Gaethje you. versus I'll check them out. yeah, Rafael Fiziev. Who you got? I like that whole speech you gave about Justin, but I really have got Rafael Fazib. Yeah, I do. Me too. I really do. I think he's a. Uh, I think he's a problem. I even think if Justin wasn't uh, in the fight this weekend, Justin would pick Rafael. He's like a fan. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he I really haven't, I haven't is. I haven't seen like, the media yet. Dude, they asked him. They're like, "So who's the second most entertaining fighter?" And he goes, "Well, if Fazib keeps doing what he's doing, he will be." <laughs> yeah, Fazib is violent. For sure. He yeah. throws everything so hard and so precise. Yeah. I mean, like, as much as RDA is older and, like, at the end of his career, knocking him out is very impressive. Yeah, he's so and fast. stopping, what, like, 20 takedowns? Right. He looks very complete, that fight. Yeah, he's got a... He's got the confidence that you would want to have if you were getting in a fight with Justin Gaethje. Yeah. And he's got a cool man bun. I've, I've never he? seen someone pull off a man bun, but... uh Think I've been told that it. I would pull off the man bun, so you, but I'll let him. I'll let him have it. I'll let him have it. You should do it for 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 Z Fight Week. You just pull up next episode with a man bun. Let's just do well, it. Let's damn, it I should have done it for this one. <laughs> Let's just end the episode and redo it with you and the yeah. man bun. Fan we'll be service. right back in five minutes. This we'll sponsor right is brought back. to you by Manscaped. <laughs> by Blue Chew. Blue Chew. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I've got Fazib. How? Okay, I also have been struggling on this. Do you think he can finish Gaethje? I think he can. I think he can finish anybody. Cause he's he's uh, he obviously hits really hard. Uh, he's he's technical, but he is kind of a like I'll put it on you until you break instead of like I'm gonna hit you with one punch flatline you kind of. Yeah, but I think he could also still get a very technical you know head kick that there's nothing you can do about it because i think if he engages in that kind of fight it opens it up for gaichi uh, a lot more than if he's able to get him out early or some body shots that just shut him down yeah i mean justin gaichi is a zombie because like, i mean unless yeah, you're charles Oliveira or khabib you, you know yeah but there's also a lot of wear and tear at this point tons <laughs> Dude, you know he's Mexican? He's like full on Mexican. What do you mean full on? Is he His from mom Mexican? is Mexican. It's not like like I'm pretty sure he speaks Spanish or at least a little bit. No, I think he does. I I, I do know that. So like he's got that blood, dude. Yeah. And that American wrestling blood too. Like this dude is built to just take absurd amount of damage. He's not like Yair Rodriguez Mexican though. No, no, no. I mean that's that's literally full on Mexican. But that's what you just called him. <laughs> but this is more like, look, he's more Mexican than you would think. He's more Mexican than me, is what you're saying. Yeah, definitely more Mexican. For sure. I agree. No, He's I, more Mexican think, than a lot of people who aren't Mexican. That's Yeah, that's true. No <laughs> argument there. No. No.